Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to calculate the density of an alloy. So we, uh, if you look at your first question, by the way, the density will have every density in grams per centimeter cube, just for simplicity, okay? So we have uh, an alloy of bronze. You guys study uh, the Bronze Age in history? Okay, so bronze is an alloy, and I don't really know what the percentage is of... Uh, Copper and tin. I tell you, I made this up. Um, let's say it's uh, seventy percent tin and thirty percent copper. Okay. I want to measure the density of the alloy. What would the density be? All right. So the density is really easy to calculate. It's just you do basically you break down the density in terms of its percentage. So we have thirty percent is copper, right? So thirty percent. Uh, actually, it's 30.0%. Maybe let's be specific here. So it's 30.0% is uh, copper. So 30.0% is Cu, right? And the other 70% is tin, according to this question. Okay. Now, the density of this alloy would be based on then, if you think about it, would be based on the fact that 30% of it is copper and 70% of it is tin. The density um, of copper is 8.92. So we do something like this. We say, okay, the density of copper is 8.92 grams per centimeter cube. And then we multiply that by 30%. Now, 30% as a decimal would be 0 0.3, right? And we're going to add that to the density of tin, but not at 100%, at 70%. The density of tin is 7.31, and the alloy is 70% tin. So this will give us the density of the alloy. Okay. So all I'm doing is I'm just I'm adding the densities, but I'm adding the uh, percentages of the densities. So what would be the 30% of 8.92 as a as a value? So what's 30% of 8.92? Who can quickly do that? And just by looking at it, it should be less than 2.7. What is it? 2.7. Now, I made a mistake here, sorry. This should have actually three zeros, and this should have three zeros, okay? Because what do you see here? Three zeros, oh, sorry, three digits, three digits, right? Um, we're going to assume that the this is three significant digits. That's why I put the point zero in it. So what was your answer, Alyssa? So 2.676, but it should be 2.68 because we want three digits. That's the that's the density that basically 30% of copper would contribute to this alloy. Then we add the uh, density that 70% of the tin represents. What would that be? Five point. So 5.1. So 5.12. Now that adds up to the alloy's density. So what does that end up being? That ends up being what? 7.8. 7 grams per centimeter cube is the density of bronze in this case. Obviously, the density would depend on uh, the percentage, right? How much if it is copper and how much if it is uh, tin. So we're, we're, we're adding, but we're not adding just the densities. We're adding the percentage of the density together. And if it's three uh, metals, it's the same thing. So if I have this question here, like if you have an alloy that is 40% copper, 55% tin, and 5% zinc, what is the density? We do the same thing. So we do the density of copper, which is, in this case, it's 40%. So it would be 8.92 times 
0 0.400. And we add that to the density of tin, which was what? 7.31. But now it's 55%. And then we add the density of zinc, which is given here. 7.13 times 0 0.05. Okay, so actually, let's let's make it. Yeah, that's fine. Leave it like that. That's going to be the density of this alloy. I put alloy D. All right. So what's forty percent of eight point nine two? Three point five six. What's the fifty five percent of seven point three one? Four point. 4.4.02. All right. And what's 5% of 7.13? 0 0.36. Okay. Now, how many uh, decimal places should my answer have? Two. And they all have two, so we're fine. We don't have to worry about that. So what would the alloy's density be then? So now we add this all up, and that would add up to what? 7.94? And again, that's in gram. I left the units out. Grams per centimeters cube is the alloy's density. How's that? Easy? So the, the idea is just take the percentage of each density, and then you add them all up. Okay, and that's what you're going to be doing in your assignment with the, the pennies because you'll have in your website you'll have the breakdown of the pennies in terms of their metals. You just have to look up the density of the metals and just add up the percent density of each metal, and that will be your density of your penny. That's how you do method B. But what if I asked you a question where you don't have the percent? So if you look at question number three, right now. You don't have this for your assignment, but you may, you know, you might on the test be asked to solve a question like this. So it's a good, it's a good question to look at. What if you have a question where you don't have the percent of the metal in the alloy? So this question is like question one. There's only two metals in the alloy, but unlike question one, we don't know what the percent of copper and tin is. We're told what the alloy's density is, right? So we're told that it's 8.25, but we don't know what the um, percent is. But this is what we know. We know, and, and I'll, I'll be honest, I don't know why, I have a habit of putting my, uh, the variable that we solve on the right. I know I normally put it on the left, right? <laughs> I always put it on the right. So let's put it on the, on, the, on the left this time. So here's what we know. We know that the alloy's density is uh, 8.25, right? Grams per centimeters cubed. So we know that the 8.25 has to be a sum of the density of copper. Now, what was the density of copper? It was 8. Point what? Yeah, it was 8.92, but it's the density of copper times the percent, right? which we don't know what it is. So I'm going to call that X. And it has to be added with the density of what? 10, which is 7.31. But we'll call it Y. But I don't really want X and Y in my formula. It's kind of silly because it's very hard to solve a question with two variables. So what I'm going to do is something different. You know what? The percent has to add up to 100. Right? The percent has to add up to 100. So if copper is 60%, that means the tin must be what? 40. So we know then that the X plus Y has to equal 100%. So another way we can write Y is as basically 100% minus... X, yeah, you, you do this in math, right? So we're going to rewrite this as 
equals 8.92x plus 7.31. Well, 100% is as a number, what would 100% be? Would be 1, right? So it would be 1 minus x. Okay? So now we can go ahead and solve it because we only have one variable here. That's it. So we have uh, 8.25 equals 8.92x plus 7.31, because 7.31 times 1, minus 7.31x. We can move everything to one side, so that would be 8.25 minus 7.31. And that gives me 8.92x minus 7.31x. Uh, and I'll finish it off with a different color. I'll finish it off right here, okay? So 8.25 minus 7.31 is 0 .94. 0 0.94. And that equals 8.92 minus 7.31. 1.6. 1 1.61? Okay, 1.61, x, and now we just divide. So let's solve for x. x is equal to 0 0.94 over 1.61. x is what? What is it? 0 0.58. 0 .58. So in other words, x is 58%, uh, therefore y has to be 42%. Okay? So now we have our uh, composition for X and Y. Now, X was what? X was copper or tin? X was copper. So we know we now know our alloy was 58% um, copper and 42%. Tin. The... And...